So my little one saw her cousins go feed some ducks the other day. And so she's been bugging me nonstop to take her to go feed some ducks. So that's the plan today. And I'm bringing you guys along with me. We're not even allowed to feed the ducks here, so Let's see what happens. Probably gonna get a Karen sick on us here. I actually broke my uh, road video micro on the way to th the park. It was loose and I kept trying to like screw it back in by like rotating the jack and it just like snapped off. So I'm gonna show you when I get home exactly what mic I got and what mic broke. And then tell you my pros of this, bike, this mic that I got. You guys know the energy drink bang. I hope I don't get, you know, copyrighted for this or if bank comes after me but bank came uh the, they have this promotional thing where just they just send girls randomly everywhere beaches and parks and all that kind of stuff to promote and they give out free drinks and that's it you may have seen something similar with other brands monster and all that kind of stuff so we're gonna go to the duck pond with my cousin and then you know go and eat afterwards we show up to the brewery we were supposed to go eat because it's right, it overlooks the, the duck pond <laughs> and it's closed. You know, things like that happen, things break and they don't go as planned. You just gotta find a way to make it work. For me, when things ha like that happen, like my mic breaking, I get real discouraged and I don't end up putting out the video I wanted to put out. I have about maybe six videos I just shelved because something went wrong. I didn't bring, get the right cable. I didn't uh, bring the right lens or something like that. Something goes wrong and then I just, I at the time, I try and make it work. I'll get footage of what I still need. I'll talk about what I still want to talk about, but I ultimately shelve it. I don't work on it because as I'm working on it, it's not exactly what I wanted it to be. And so I don't like that. I don't like that habit that I have. And so I'm going to try and force myself to come out with whether I like it or not. I'm going to put it out there so that hopefully encourage other people to want to do the same thing and better themselves as a creative, as an artist, be more problem solving. Uh, with my workflow so that on the field I have that same mentality of not like oh this is messed up the project's ruined no I can think about how to save the project and what I can do to make the project work so ultimately that's the goal I'd like to strengthen that ability for someone that doesn't do this already and has not really an idea of the workflow I'm gonna try and put out one video a week I'm gonna actually try and go back and salvage the videos that I have made um, that I shelved because there was just something I didn't like about it. So those are gonna be coming soon guys And I hope you guys stick around and if you guys have any questions or if you guys have any words of encouragement or um, If you are in the same boat, you have a hard time staying focused when things aren't ideal uh, Talk to me about it. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to share any wisdom I have I'd love to hear any wisdom you guys might have so uh, let's do this together guys. Stay creative. Peace
What's up guys? We're finally here in the studio and I'm going to break down to you exactly what mic I was using and what happened to it. This is the Rode Video Micro. I think it's a great solid choice for anybody starting out. It's 50 bucks brand new, but you can literally find them anywhere online. Let go, offer up, Effie Marketplace. You can literally find them everywhere for like 25 bucks. I'll definitely be picking up another one just because it's form factor. I think it puts out decent audio for, uh, you know, its price and, you know, what it actually is. I have a phone rig. I think it's great for my phone rig when I want to be mobile, when I want to go to Disneyland and not carry so much heavy stuff or anywhere where I don't want to carry too much. I use this thing. It comes with a little windshield, a little dead cat. So what had happened was there's this part right here, right where the 35 millimeter jack plugs in. That little silver part comes loose from time to time. So I have to put the jack in and then tighten it. Unfortunately, I was thinking I was tightening it. What had happened was I was loosening it. And then when I popped the jack off, it uh, fell into the hole. So I probably am gonna try and crack this thing open and salvage it just for the sheer fact of trying. Um, but I'm definitely gonna be picking up another one because there's not enough good things I can say about just what you're getting out of this little cheap mic. Onto the mic I do have now. I'm currently using it, so I can't really show anything. I'll probably get some B-roll of it that'll probably be playing right about now. So that's the video mic NTG. I can't say enough great things about it. I just picked it up. By far, my favorite thing about it is the fact that it's got a zero noise floor. I can literally just not talk and there will be no noise, no hiss, no hum or anything. Completely silence. I love that. I think it pairs well with my other Rode products, like my, my wireless goes. So I, I can turn this mic and put it mounted anywhere I need, which is just a great application for anybody doing film. I think it took the best parts of the video mic series that is popular with vloggers and YouTubers and some of the key components of the NTG series that is popular with mid-level filmmakers and combine them to make this great hybrid. It charges via USB-C. I think those are two big factors that I'm in love with. There's a railing system on it that lets you push it forward and backward, depending on if the mic comes into your shot, which I think is great because if you have a shot that's punched in more, you can push in the mic closer to your subject, which, you know, calls for better audio that way. I do love that feature. It was one of the things that people hated about the video mic go, it stuck out behind the camera. So you couldn't put it against the wall and try and get a certain shots. It feels good that a company listens to its uh, buyers. I haven't really gotten an in-depth feel for it yet. I've just played with it here and there. Um, but I probably will down the line make a video of how much um, this thing really impacted my workflow in general. That's about it guys. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Boom.